Big exciting news is the push to get the second stimulus package of the Problem Solvers Bill to a vote and approved is underway. It's a great bill because it has in there everything that you need for rent, eviction moratorium, and mortgage for parents. Of course, you know, across the street, Nancy Pelosi is focusing on a, um, a federal budget bill that has no money for farmers and their cows. <laughs> Cows are not happy. Uh, they say that if she doesn't get this together, it's going to be utter destruction. Uh, <laughs> the cows are just, you know, they're going undercover and they're, you know, they're going to camouflage to really get this done. Uh, <laughs> they, you know, uh, <laughs> they're tired of uh, Carol Maloney and her baloney. Uh, but as we go moving along, um, th when they look at the situation, they see Nancy Pelosi's only focus on her $12 ice cream. They're like, you want to put molasses on us? Well, you know, if you don't include us in your second seamless package, then I have one word for you. Coward. Well, hey, good afternoon, everybody. This is Afternoons out of LA, and I hope you're good and safe as the planes are coming in, you know, to bring <laughs> congressional leaders back on their vacation home. Uh, I'm glad you join me for Afternoons out of LA. It starts every day at 3.30 with a check. Your cat is here, your dog, your alpaca, your <laughs> lobster, your, your dragon, and apparently now your guinea pig. This is the LA Zoo. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, we're all here for collective purpose to move her out of the way. And thank you for joining me. Starts every day with a check at 3.30, then hazard pay, then FPC, and then finally rent this video. If you're not subscribed to this channel, you need to, because no one's watching out for your rent issues more than this channel. I have done rent videos now every day at about 5 o'clock every single day for upwards of two months. And the de developments are very important. No one's trying to ensure more that you get rent aid mortgage forbearance and eviction moratoriums than this channel so go to the front of this channel and <laughs> one of these fingers go to the front of this channel and subscribe it's a 275 265,000 person community now of the purple power and also like this video because it's going to be the best video you're going to see today about rent it might also be the only one because no one else is reporting about it let's get to the incredible details and they are the problem solvers bill it has in there the three things that you want to hear rent aid mortgage forbearance, and eviction moratorium. Now you think that we've sort of heard about eviction moratorium, we've sort of heard about mortgage forbearance. Oh no, it's not good. It's not comprehensive enough. It's not the correct one. That thing that the president did for you under the CDC order, which is in the descriptions of this video, did not compass, encompass everyone. It did not protect everyone. And the mortgage forbearance thing that you're supposed to have by executive order actually didn't create one. It only said that in the case of federally backed mortgages, you may have protection. So you need this bill. This is a bill to just get the movement behind. <laughs> Otherwise, it's complete utter nonsense what we're dealing with. This bill was introduced by the Problem Solvers a week ago, and congressional leaders, Republicans and Democrats, Senate and House, are all supporting it. But they need your support. They need your support to get it to a vote. They need your support to get it to a vote and get it for support now. There's a lot of distractions out there. There's a lot of things working against you. We know that. We're not, we're not deers and headlights. We're not rose-colored glasses. We know there's a push, and the push is hard. We're almost to the finish line, but we can get it done. That's the spirit of the Purple Power community. And as we sit here today, why is it so important? It's so important because no one's giving you rent aid on a federal level. This would be the first federal law that would actually provide you rent aid by federal law since the pandemic started. I mean, it's sort of shocking that I'm even having to say that. But no, under CARES Act 1, you got no rent aid. Under CARES Act 1, you got a mortgage forbearance and rent eviction moratorium for a short period of time. It's expired. And the new one is not comprehensive enough. So you need this. Now, the spirit of this channel is always to get you money wherever I can get you money. And two weeks ago, I, well, a week and a half ago, I broke the world exclusive of this channel that showed that cities and counties 
are now giving rent grants to their residents for the first time since the pandemic started. Now, why now? And what's happening is that if you haven't even heard it locally where you are, it may still be coming up in the next couple of days. I'm the only one telling you this because it's a real shocking scandal. $150 billion was allocated from state and local to care to buy CARES Act 1. It was the COVID fund that was dedicated to states, $150 billion, and the states were then supposed to give it to their cities and counties in their state. And they're supposed to give it to the cities and counties who were then supposed to give it to you. And the things that they're supposed to give it to you were stimulus checks, enhanced unemployment benefits, food, and rent or among the items. Did you get any? No. Did you hear about it? No. Some cities may have launched it for a short period of time that's sort of stopped. But now the vast majority of them have now been, you know, caught by local news that have revealed in shocking scandals that they've not used this money. In some cases, the legislature of their local state has caught them as well and say, you know what? You use the money or you lose the money. That's actually what the law says. If they don't use the money on you, they will lose it. So you need to go right now after watching this video before you go to Evenings LA. You need to watch, go on Google and search for Rent Grant Plus, City Plus, State Plus, anything like that. And look for rent grants that are in your city, rent grants in your county, rent grants in your state. Look for news articles that cover the subject matter because they're announcing them literally every single day. And they're happening right now because the user to lose a deadline is upon us. So as we sit here tonight, what are the thoughts when we think about rent aid? Well, you have an eviction moratorium of protection if you're a renter, apartment or house, but you have to go through the whole process. You just It's not one of those things you don't do anything about. It's in the description of this video. You have a mortgage forbearance, but it's not for all mortgage forbear all mortgages. It doesn't protect all mortgage holders. It only protects those who are fed federally backed mortgages. It doesn't protect you if your mortgage is with Citibank or you know Chase. Um, and then you have rent. And so if you do have protections, but you don't have rent, then come January, you're gonna be on the street because you don't have the money for the rent. One of the things I have to tell you, because I don't always say it, but I think it's obvious, but some people still ask me the question, so obviously I need to explain it, is that when you have an eviction moratorium, it does not mean you don't, you are forgiven for paying rent. A, a moratorium says you, means that you cannot be evicted or kicked out or foreclosed upon because you haven't paid something. It does not forgive you for paying it. So ultimately, when that protection window ends then if you've not pay, uh, if you're not paid up to do up to uh, up to uh, up to point, up to that point you're going to be thrown on the street so let's say you've had that protection window in place and it's coming up the windows are going to expire tomorrow if you haven't paid a month's of rent and we're sitting here today guess what happens tomorrow you're on the street because you haven't paid the months of rent that's why you need rent aid it's as simple as that. You had 270 great questions yesterday about rent, so let me move into those right now. Vernon Hahn, they need to quit playing around and pass the stimulus checks for American people. They need money to survive. Farmers need that money for their crops. Amen. Uh, you know, one of the things you'll see from me if you're new to this channel is that I fight for everyone. I fight for SSDI, SSI, Social Security, Railroad Benefits viewers. I fight for farmers. I fight for small business owners. I fight for medium business owners. I don't speak for just one group of people. I mean, who does that? Uh, well, Republicans. Uh, <laughs> Mitch McConnell. I only talk about uh, restaurants. I only talk about lobsters. This is, yeah, this is, no. You have to talk about a lot of people who are impacted by COVID-19. And, and absolutely. Someone thanked me for speaking up for farmers. Jerry Featherly. I think every Democrat and every Republican should get go without a paycheck until we get our stimulus checks amen diane zipperer that just proves her mind is gone referring to pelosi without that milk the farmers provide there won't be any ice cream 12 dollars or otherwise what they're referring to is the, the the line that i'm using for my openings today which is actually true it's not a joke that the congressional budget um cr 
document or whatever you call it has to be agreed to and voted upon and signed into law by September 30th. <laughs> Another deadline. If it's not done, the government shuts down. Well, Nancy and Stevie met about this over two weeks ago and agreed to it. Well, guess what she did yesterday? Threw him under the bus uh, and said, you know, here it is. And it has some stuff in there you don't like. Really, honey? <laughs> Darling, you just don't know who you're playing with here. Well, the Republicans fired back at her. Says, what is this document, Nance? It's omitting anything for farmers. They're farmers in Northern California, Nance. Uh, are you ignoring them as well? She has a real art of ignoring groups, entire segments of the U.S. population. Even when they're, you know, five minutes away from her house. Joan Hurst, they just need to agree on the bill and be responsible adults. Patricia, just remind all of them, election day is coming up. Dominic Bartolomo, Democrats are two trillion, Republicans are at 1.5. They can compromise and split it down the middle at 1.75 question mark, exclamation mark. Yes, of course they can. Uh, but this is the problem with these pig-headed people. And yeah, I'm going to use the word pig-headed. I agree exactly with you, Dominic. I have said all along, because it's true, the president will go to $2 trillion to make it even easier for you. His last offer was $1.5, but he will go to $2 trillion. There's two problems with that number. One, Temple of Doom doesn't want to go to two, or at least that's the card she's playing in her hand. Uh, and second, there's some wacko Republicans out there that don't want to go to even one. So who are these crazy people? The bottom line is that, you know, if there's some people who disagree with you, who cares? Put it to a vote. <laughs> Let's see who these people are. There's sort of like a cloak and dagger situation where they don't want to show their faces. If you want to be a buffoon and say, I don't even want to give a million trillion dollars of stimulus relief as a Republican. Okay, let's see you vote that. And let's see you say that because I want to hear who you are. I want to see who you represent. And I want to make sure you're never reelected again because you're just wacky. Um, I need to say this protection is not working. AOC, for example, out of New York. She literally just said two days ago that she does not want the Republicans to be at uh, what Dominic has said, two trillion. She wants the Democrats to stay at three four, and for us to basically starve to death <laughs> uh, and get pot. <laughs> because she thinks that a pot bill can be passed right now. And I'm not joking. That's literally her position. Um, grow green. The airlines have already been bailed out this year. Then let, Don't let them get anything else before people come first. Amen. That's exactly correct. They got $25 billion under the first stimulus package. It was supposed to be for uh, employees. They didn't use on employees. They furloughed them or laid them off. Um, Melody Wolf, stay informed. To be the uninformed is entirely up to someone else's mercy. I love that, Melody. Rebecca Cox, just keep got to be positive. Think positive and pray every night they pass this bill. Amen. Helen Capone, one fish, two fish, three fish, blow fish, stimulus What is what we wish. I love that, Helen. Beautiful and cute emojis as well. Carol Laplante, I was never flying, so I don't give about these money-grabbing airlines, but I just wasn't waiting for them be nothing. Desta, thank God I all feel better about COVID-19. Kay Wilthrop, Nancy wants to, everyone to impeach while she has thought about impeaching herself. Uh, very well said. Nancy Pelosi wants to do another impeachment hearing because, you know, she doesn't have a scandal this week. Apparently, Falcon Crest and Dynasty is not on reruns for her to watch. Uh, Lycra, hello. I hope everyone's having a great day. We are. Let's hope keep our hopes and faith up. We are. Sandra, I live in an RV and have a lot of rent. Will this be included? Um, yeah, absolutely. It's, it's usually based upon your income level, not based upon the nature of the place you rent, which is actually a really great question you're asking. Um, so let's give you an example. Let's say you live in an RV, but, you have, but your income is $20 million a year. Then you wouldn't qualify. Let's say you live in a palatial house, but your income per year is $20,000 just because of whatever, then you would qualify. It's tied to the income, not to the structure you're in. Carlita Mayers, Purple Power, keep us the pressure on. Keep the vote on the bill. We deserve the stimulus check. Amen. Jeannie Wolfenbarker, nothing for farmers. Bye-bye ice cream. I mean, it's just crazy. She wants $12 ice cream but doesn't want to give me money for the farmers. Well, how do you expect to get the ice cream, honey? Darling, uh, the cow ain't gonna... <laughs> 
the cows are going to go on strike if you don't pay the cows. They ain't going to give you the, the $12 ice cream. It's going to have to be tofu ice cream, which is not going to taste like $12 ice cream. It's going to taste like tofu. <laughs> if you've not subscribed to this channel, which is utter nonsense, <laughs> move out of the way. Uh, <laughs> we don't work in camouflage. <laughs> We we uh, we are really uh, lock and barrel no ball. So go to the fun channel and subscribe. This is the best darn channel on the internet for a reason for symbolists because we don't do bull. <laughs> we can move right to the point. Also like this video because this is the best cow video you can see today. <laughs> It's like, darling, you know, yesterday he was about the the dragons. Today's about the cows. <laughs> You know, whatever works. Uh, coming up next is Evenings Outlight. You got to tune for Evenings Outlight because on that video, I'll be going over the representatives that are up for re-election that you need to ensure that they're out of their seats if they don't give you stimulus. If you didn't watch Afternoons Outlight's first video, I went over the senators who are up for re-election. Evenings Outlight first video will go over the House representatives. As always, stay informed, stay smiling, stay focused, and stay valid.